all for the intuition line over here. It looks fucking steep. Should you buy an intuition liner? Or is this just a toy for rich kids? If you're taking, if you have a shop around you where you can heat mold it, it's best to taking the frame off that you on a flat surface and uh, especially the floor of the intrusion liner, the bowl, the bottom of the intrusion liner is also heat mold able and uh, when you're not straight, if you're more to the side or right or left, you mold it a little bit sketchy so it's better when you're always flat on the ground. Till now, the liner is comfy, it's not comfy. I mean, which liner is uncomfortable? The, ra the razor liners that I had over years, rage and jug liners, all quite comfortable. My foot liners, all quite comfortable. So really, we need a 200 euro liner. Last day, final decision about the Intuition liner. I skate them with the black Velcro. I talked with the Intuition, what's the big difference? Um, or the biggest difference between these two. This black Velcro is just two millimeter thick and the golden one or yellow is five millimeter thick. I hope it works and then I will tell you what I really think about the intention liner and if we need really a liner for 200 euros. So stay tuned. So I skied them now for a while and uh, the reason why I bought them is because so many people talking about the Intuition Liner and they speaking really really well about it. Of course if you're spending 200 bucks for a liner you don't want to say it's garbage, right? What's behind Intuition? Since many many years already Intuition making really high quality ski in boots or ski liners and I skied them also since a while and I always recommend an Intuition Liner for a ski boot. But if I recommend them for inline skates, hmm, I can't really 100% recommend them because that means, in my opinion, that I say you should buy one and you need one. 
But I really think that nobody really need an intuition liner. But there are some people out there, they want to have the best quality, the best support, and the best equipment what they can have for money. For these people, of course, I will always say, if you need a little bit more support, if you want some really, really comfortable liner, go and buy some intuition. Even if they are 200 euro, they really worth the money. Do you think a beginner needs such a stiff and supporting liner? I don't think so. I believe if the liner is not supporting you so much, there is more forgiven. That means you can do more things wrong, you can slip around in your skates a little bit, and it's a little bit better. Of course, if you have such a crazy support and you're 100% in your skates, you should know what you do. If you would like to recommend them, then I would just recommend them to advanced skaters, better skaters, people they need really high support because they skate in big ramps doing crazy tricks or for people they really have pain in their ankles and slipping around in their liner and for that the intuition liner is really amazing you have two different velcros i add on now the two millimeter velcro and there is also a five millimeter velcro the reason why I switched back to the thinner one is because it was hurting me on the left side, it was pressing here inside exactly where the velcro is because there was too high volume for the really slim, or not that slim, but the fifth element shell was a little bit too slim or my feet too fat. I don't know how I should explain it. With a slimmer part, I can do a little bit better topside tricks because it's not such a high volume, still really, really supporting. It's amazing because now finally I can really skate a skate. I really love the fifth element, but I could not skate with them in half pipe because it was too floppy and too soft. But otherwise, I really, really enjoyed the skating of the fifth element in mini ramp and street, especially on real edges, curbs, on latches, because you could easily bend them in topside tricks. You can easily do switch ups. I just love the fifth element. It's amazing skate, but for the half pipe, it was a little bit too soft for me. That's why I made the decision to spend 200 bucks for the intuition liner and uh, I really think it's worth it for my person. If you're looking for some upgrade for your inline skates, stem skates or whatever, I would say go for the intuition. Intuition V2 liner, I really like them. Um, I will buy them every time again because it makes my skating so much more supported and of course also my skate a little bit stiffer but not that it feels like I can't do topside tricks anymore. But if I tighten the skate up with the standard Roaches liner, it gives me not enough support. If I tighten them up with the Intuition liner, it gives me a lot of support, a really stiff skate. But if I not tighten up the buckle that much and I just tighten up the liner, it's amazing soft and I can do a lot of topside tricks and everything. So that was my final review about the Intuition liner. I would buy them every time again. And of course I will spend also every time 200 bucks again for this amazing liner because it's worth it for my person when I skating half pipe street, mini ramp, curbs, everything, then I really like that because it supports me and that's exactly what I need in my inline skates. So I wish you all a really nice day. Much love for everyone and over out for me from Lux Freestyle Academy. See you soon. Ah, one more thing. If you like this video, it would be really nice if you just could subscribe my channel and click the little notification bell and just give me a thumbs up. But if you don't like, just give me a thumb down and uh, let me know in the comments what you think and why you don't like. And also, tell me your opinion about the Intuition Liner and if we need such high priced stuff in the comments. Just talk with me in the comments and I would love to give you an answer and talk with you about your opinion. Thank you very much.